Hello everyone. All right, today I'm going to show you an in-depth overview of the Corvette C6 dashboard computer and the heads-up display. So this is the Corvette dashboard layout. On the right you have your fuel sensor, your battery gauge, miles per hour of course, RPM, oil pressure, and then coolant temperature. The buttons here on the right side control the computer where it says range, each one giving quite a few variety of options. We'll start with the top one first and we'll run through them all. My average fuel, I've been sitting here idling as I've been filming this, I swear it's better than that. Your average fuel economy, instant fuel economy, and your range. That's really all it's you for the gas, but it is very helpful. I usually run with range on all the time. Next one you have is the more performance based items. You have oil pressure, oil temperature, coolant temperature, transmission fluid temperature, battery voltage, front and rear tire pressure sensors, and that's all you got there. But all these are very handy, especially if you're a big track guy. I use these a lot. Typically I have the transmission temperature up by at Willow Springs Raceway. Next one is trip. This gives you an average speed reader, oil life, my odometer, I drive my car quite a lot. Trip, uh, trip odometer A and B, you have two if you need two and an elapsed timer. This is very handy for if you want to time a road trip or even a lap time if you were quick about it. And the next ones are options. Now this, you reset to select option you. This is what someone actually asked me about this specifically. All you have to do to change it to metric, all you have to do to change the metric is literally push reset and it'll switch it over. Now pay very close attention to the miles per hour at the top. Now switch it over to kilometers an hour. This will actually adjust the rate the needle does move. So without any other work, you're already set to go. And if we actually go back real quick, you'll see everything has actually switched over to more worldwide measurements. Since, you know, we're the only people that use Fahrenheit, but that's okay. Go back to the options here. Now, fob reminder. Now this one, I'm gonna show you real quick. When the car is off, like so, and your key fob is still in the car. You don't need to put your key in the car, obviously, as you have a push start. If I open the door, but I don't take the fob out, it'll honk, thus telling you that you will have left your key fob in the car. The car will not lock and you'll be able to open the door. It'll keep complaining at you and you can get your fob out. Passive door locking is when you actually close the car door the car will lock itself after a short time. Silent means basically if you close it and walk away, about 30 seconds later the car is going to honk at you. Silence, what I usually do is I close the car door, I know it locked. Passive door unlock. This is a cool feature. This is when you walk up to the car, the car will automatically unlock. I have it set to open up both doors, I usually have a passenger. Change your language, put your name into it, which I did. Now we'll get on to one of the more sought after features in Corvettes. You have the heads up display, which is a small hologram in the window that you can see here. This control panel right here controls the heads up display. You have your brightness on the bottom. This adjusts the position of the heads up display. Page adjusts what actually appears on the display itself. There are a few options, which I'm gonna go through in a minute. Then you have mode. There are three different modes on the heads up display, which I'm gonna run through them all. We're opening up into street mode. Street mode is the very basic form. You have miles per hour, and if I want to, if you see if I hit the blinker, you'll see that appears. If I hit the flat, you know, the high beams, a little icon appears. Another cool feature is if I change my radio station, it will also appear in the heads up display as I'm driving. Very useful if you have the wheel controls. Another feature that's very cool, of course, I'm gonna show you a still picture of it, is when you're using your navigation system, the directions will appear in the heads-up display itself, along with a bar telling, that'll decrease the closer you get to your turn. That's probably my favorite feature of the heads-up display. Now, getting on to the other modes, you can have track mode one. This displays a tachometer on the left and a lateral G meter on the bottom. On the right side, you'll see an icons for coolant temperature. On the right side, you can have a variety of different temperature gauges. You can have coolant, transmission, oil pressure, oil temperature, or if you don't like it, you can remove it all together. Track mode two 
basically the same thing, nothing really changes, you know, the same temperature readings, but you have a more formula style tachometer. The lateral G meter at the very bottom measures obviously how hard you've taken a previous turn. Small feature a lot of people actually know about is if you hold down the page button, it'll recall your highest lateral G you've achieved for the time that the car was on. And real quick, I'll show you, there's a variety of options. We have the adjustment, this is to adjust, obviously, where the heads-up display goes. And if you want, you can actually run it off the screen entirely. This depends on whether or not you're short or tall. So I can leave it here and obviously see if I'm a little taller, it goes away completely. If I'm a little shorter, it appears. Depends on your height, of course. Another one is you have your brightness. So if you want it to be really bright, it's kind of hard to tell on the phone, but it is blinding. Or I can turn the brightness very low, or even all the way, I can turn the whole unit off. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, there's plenty of features packed into this car, so if you've been looking at buying one, trust me, you will not be disappointed. I've driven the hell out of mine, and I've loved every mile. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. That really helps me out. Check out some of my other videos. I do a lot of work on my own car, and some gaming videos as well, if that's your thing. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.